guys, good afternoon. So, uh, my cameraman, Carlo today. Viva Carlo. <laughs> so they can see what we're doing. So, uh, welcome again. This is Joel from Overland Kings. And uh, I want to show you guys the most recent build that we're doing. So uh, right now, we just finished our build. And as you can see, we're just about to open up everything for you so you can see. Um, this friend of mine so came over and um, had a very specific brief for what he wanted to do. He wanted a weekend overlander that uh, could, you know, they could take his family to on the mountains and adventure and eventually work up to something maybe a little bit more elaborate. So what we've done here today is, uh, again, there's a Ford Ranger Raptor fresh off the dealership and we've done phase one of uh, our overland build. So in phase one, there are always three things to consider when we're making or building an overland rig. So an overland rig is basically shelter that we need, some sort of electrical system, and some sort of water system. But before I move on, if you like the content that we've been giving you and what you like seeing in our stream, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. It's at Overland Kings PH on Instagram and Facebook. So while they're at it, uh, if you're just joining us from somewhere, do give us a thumbs up, hit the like button, hit the heart button, or give us a message on what you guys think of this Raptor, yeah? Do you think it's a cool? If you think it's a cool Raptor, give me a thumbs up. Or say cool, or nice, or suave, or... <laughs> if it's not cool, uh, don't say something not nice. Just log out of the street. The joke line, joke line. <laughs> so, um, why don't we uh, show you what's up? So just like that, as you can see, as I was just showing you, it, that an overland rig should set up pretty quick. And as you can see, just by giving my intro spiel, we've set up, set up the vehicle from zero to fully outfitted in less than what, Carlo? You don't mean to. Uh, two, two yeah, three, I guess. Three minutes, less two, than three less, minutes. But less I think than I three. cheated, I cheated. Oh, right. I got like six guys working <laughs> on it. But we just double the time. It should be uh, less than 10 minutes and it should be good. All right, so come on, let's take a look what we've done. So to start it off, before we have anything, so our first part of our shelter is a 2.5 by 2.5 uh, awning uh, from Adventure Kings. Always remember to peg it down, but we, we haven't pegged it down. But one of the things that's new with the Adventure Kings awning is now, this is the weak spot of the awning. And right now, Adventure Kings has upgraded its awnings. So all awnings come with come with this little block. And if you're an overlander or an adventurer, if you have one of these awnings, you know that this is the weak spot of the awning. So now, Adventure Kings has worked on that and that has been solved. So now we have that. The uh, awning of always, almost Oh, it of course comes with uh, the LED strip light that's built in that comes with the Adventure Kings awning and right on top uh, it's mounted on a Rhino Armor crossbar uh, clip type uh, meaning uh, you don't have to put any drilling on the vehicle and comes with a flat wrap that's roughly 160 m cm if I'm not mistaken yeah um, on the back so that's the side uh, let me work on the roof so what we've created also is we created a work light of course, a work light should be functional. So, one of the things we've done is we've made sure that the work light is tapped to the second battery, which we'll show you later. But, aside from that, it's movable. And the switching, of course, custom switching, is right here. So, we have the work light. And up front, uh, we have a 40-inch LED bar, which works as a uh, overland light but also as a wind deflector just in case there's some noise so yeah okay. let me show you around the back so this is where the business end of it so our friend specifically requested that he wanted the bed to be sealed so uh, but still want to carry on some of the toys that he brings along maybe a roof tent maybe a surfboard in the future we don't know bike back bike <laughs> hiding back there. Like, pakita, pakita. Right. So, um, the, the brand that we put here, it's called Securilid. So, what Securilid does is, uh, it has a, uh, it's a South African product. So, Securilid is not one of those uh, China products, but this one, you can take a full weight. And what's more important is you can mount an additional crossbar on the lid itself. So, this is probably the only roller lid that could, you could put a front, front runner load bar or whatever load bar. But these load bars are load rated. That's why it's called the load, load bar. So the front runner bars are, can load up to 105 kilos per bar. So that means the airplane just passed. So that means <laughs> you can put two mountain bikes, a roof tent. You still have a bike rack. You can still mount it up here. But for this particular purpose, 
there's an overland rig and he wanted a kitchen in the back. So we've mounted a rear awning from Adventure Kings, as you can see. So that when you're cooking back here, you'll be able to access and have shape. So let me show you how the rollers, the rollers uh, security looks like. So you push that, and everything opens up. And this is our bed. Um, again, look stock, that's the point. We like to create things that look stock, but it's actually fully modified. So on the left of the bed, come this side, Carlo. On the left of the bed, let me show you what we have. So we put a basic Adventure Kings battery box that's running a Newton AGM battery. Now, I want to explain the AGM batteries because the AGM batteries, uh, it's not as strong as a lithium, yes, given. But given the situation where you just want to go out three days, the, in our experience, the AGM battery paired with the CTEC uh, BMS controller is more than enough to power your fridge, your cell phones, your laptop for three days, two nights. Of course, with our system, um, the, the CTEC here has a solar panel output. There's an Anderson plug. So if they have the solar panel that's portable, we haven't built it in yet, you can just open that up, plug that there, and you'll be able to charge solar through this whole system. Two extra Anderson plugs in the top gives you more access, access to any 12 volt accessories that you might be bringing. Maybe a light, maybe an extra fridge, uh, a vacuum cleaner. Parang home shopping bro. <laughs> but ano pa bang pwede? If you got if you guys have any question, ano pa bang ano, okay. What are 12 volt accessories that can be plugged here? How about you guys tell me what that is because that's all I can think of right now. But yeah, give us in the comments. Maybe uh, comment uh, So shout out to June and Mavic Mirasol. Oh, uh -huh. hi Mav hi June, hi Mavic. So thanks for joining our stream. <laughs> So yeah, if you give us a shout out there, just put your name up there and say cool, all right? So just type it up there. Be happy to engage with you. Awesome. Sige, tuloy natin. So we're doing a walkthrough. So guys, if you just joined us, we're doing a Ford Ranger Raptor Overland build. That's for a weekend. And uh, we just want to show you what we've done on a basic build. Okay. Uh, so we have the SeaTech panel mounted. Of course, we still create it with a marine carpet so that, you know, it still looks nice because I like it functional but nice. Uh, still cool looking. So. This whole system, the work light on the back, is tapped to the second system so that when you're camping and you're glamping, you can turn on the rear lights without draining your battery. Okay. But our most unique build right now is I we put on a uh, that's a water tank right there. That's a 40 liter water tank that's powered um, and uh, that's mounted to the bracket. But what I like is still open in the bottom, meaning you can still put a bed slide or whatever other gear that you want. It takes minimal space because the roller lid. Under the roller lid is dead space. So we've just maximized that space and you still have basically 80% of this uh, bed that, you, uh, that you're gonna use. Again, we haven't put anything else yet because we're still contemplating whether we're gonna put a slide or boxes, but at the, in the meantime, it can still be used as a carrying, uh, carrying uh, bed. Of course, uh, our uh, signature touch, it always has to have some lighting to make sure that you see it. This is tapped to the second battery. White lights and amber lights both are there. So that's not of the bed. But what's unique with this build is this. Okay, so we've mounted it with a bidet. One for the what? Am I allowed to say this on air? One one for the bottom. Yeah. One for the kitchen. Specific client request, okay? So, pwede niyong panggasulihin na. So, water pump, self-priming, meaning I don't have to touch this and it just goes. For the bottom. For the gasolina. Or at the same time. Like I said, we build it to your request. So, I don't know why we will need both, but hey, it works. But yeah, so we still created a switch so that you know you won't accidentally just leave it on. But if, basically, if you're taking a shower, then it still works. Now, another part, integral part of this, of course, is we're asking me, Joel, how are we going to shower out here? Okay. Which brings us to the other side of the car. So right here is our Adventure Kings shower awning. So the shower awning is the side so that this water system should reach there. And you'll be the shower inside. Oh, di ba? Walang tao sa loob yan. But basically, 
<laughs> so the shower awning is entered from here. This is the newest product from Adventure Kings, by the way. And that shower should be in here. I'm not gonna shower right now. Secret on Malabu. Uh, what I like about the shower awning is it's probably the biggest shower awning in the market. Um, it's designed for Australians, therefore big boys like me or bigger boys than me if you're like six foot or six or anything. I'm I'm five ten, five eleven. So if you're a big guy, what I what I like is that there's enough space inside for you to move around. So rounding it up, of course, is our unique one and only Overland Kings. Stay gray. So, I don't know Gray on gray. <laughs> so again, the that's our simple build of our Raider Raptor from Overland King. So right now, if you're looking at it, um, it's still a basic build, but we, we're gonna keep working on it. But again, you know, just to show you, uh, this build is not the most expensive build. Uh, just to give you a ballpark, is roughly 200k for everything that you see. Uh, plus and minus. So again, we do build overlanders, but not everything needs to be expensive. We build it to your taste. We build it to what you need to do, what you like to do. And if there's ways to get around it, we're creating a good value for the products, then that's what we're going to do for you. So yeah, do you guys have any questions or uh, comments? Sir Dino, yes. how strong is the water pressure? Dino Bantayan, man. Dino Ray Directo. Ah, Dino Ray! <laughs> Boss Dino, how strong is the water pressure? Enough to, ano? I don't know if it's legal, but it's not legal. Enough to clean your butt, bro. <laughs> Let's see the water pressure again. You, you judge for yourself. The question is, how strong is the water pressure? <laughs> okay, take two. Take two. Uh, enough, man. I think enough to. Uh, Questions and comments, uh, guys. Um, ano kaya lamer po ba yan? Uh, Sir Chris Tam. Yes. Patrick Roque, rigman na naman ba ito? Hindi. <laughs> Not every build, every rig I build is my rig. Okay, but uh, thanks for ano. Si, si Patrick Roque is there. Hi Patrick Roque, thanks for joining us. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, dual battery system. Yes. How much? Dual EJ Farinas. Uh, dual battery system. Uh, this whole system is gonna cost you with the CTEC D250 around 60k. But we can do simpler versions without the iso uh, just without using a D250 SE using a battery isolator. So uh, hovering around 40k, including the the, bat the battery that's AGM and the battery box. So uh, yeah, including everything that we need to wear. So more or less, that's a good ballpark. And also, you know, with battery systems, uh, it depends how much wire we're gonna use because what we use are the gauge wires that are correct. So they're thicker and gauge thick gauge wires are. Pretty pricey as you know. So yeah. Uh Sir Sir Rudy Sir Rudy. Uh EJ Fabian. Sir EJ, so just bring in your car over. I'll be happy to explain everything after the stream. Uh I can PM you or message you. Message us later. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the comment. Yes, any questions what? Uh Sir Uh Sir Emmanuel, yes. I love your build. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, sir. Pampanga, guys. Yes. Uh Sir Sam. The comment is Sir Sam. Sam. Yes. Oh no! Why are you stuck rims? Why are you stuck rims? Oh, that's it. This is how I'm going to get it. So, the method is coming on the way. Okay? So, uh, what is it? It's only 400km. So, we're taking out the tires and putting method bead drip. Bead drip. So, guys, by the way, method bead drip is officially available right now. Oh, that's it. Free plug for Sam. <laughs> 701, 714, 703. Uh, all currently available in 17 only with the B grip. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, maganda yung method. No? Check na yan. Okay. Okay na Carlo. Bago ko mapahamak pala. No? So again, okay thank you for joining our stream today. And you know, it's always a privilege to be able to build these rigs for you. And you know, we do it from the heart and we love doing it. And it's actually a passion that we do. So you know, give us your comments, give us your ideas. We'll be happy to build the one for you. So again, this is Joel Pedro from Overland Kings. Again, stay safe and we'll see you in the next adventure. Goodbye for now.